Welcome back to the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by Safety Systems. And don't worry if it sounds like I'm moving chairs. I'm not. No, no. I'm, I'm ready for the advertisement. All right, Safety Systems. Let me tell you, folks. Home entertainment systems, home automation, home security systems. Let VFL JJ Serlis and the team at Safety Systems protect and modernize your home. Control everything from your smartphone or your tablet and rest easy as they will make it all very user-friendly for you. Safe T systems. Okay, let's make sure, yeah, no, all the chairs are out of the shot, that's good. Um, this segment's called In the Huddle, or Huddle Up, or whatever, something with a huddle. I take three of VFLs, we put them on a side set, and let them do their thing, and I get to sit it out. So, the question for these guys, and that is Mike Stoll, Kevin Simon, Will Overstreet, does Josh Heupel have a plan B? Now, not all coaches do. The really great coaches, if they don't have the pieces, they figure out another way to win. Josh Heupel has a great system. We've seen it. But if he doesn't have the pieces that fit that system perfectly, can he adjust, or is he just going to run the same system right into a brick wall? Let's throw it over to Will Overstreet and the guys and let them answer that question. Yeah, for me, I think I've seen of how he uses different players and matches them up. I think this coaching staff can adjust. I think the big problem is you've got a lot of holes in the dike right now. You've got wide receivers, you've got an offensive line, and you've got a quarterback that you don't know if you can trust any one of those. So my problem right now with this is it's a lot to adjust. Yeah, to me, it's all about maximizing the roster. And the best coaches that I've been around – they have a way of understanding their players' strengths, understanding their weaknesses, and then they do things by scheme to maximize their strengths and minimize their weaknesses. They don't put them in positions where, where you don't see their strengths. So to me, that's the thing that I'm interested to see. It's almost like, um, like a doctor. There's a difference between description, all right, I, I, I sneeze, right? You know, allergies or whatever, and prescription. Prescription prescribes a remedy to alleviate the issue. So I'm interested to see where Heupel takes that to get all 11 men operating on the same accord. Um, to me, if Josh asked me, if Coach, Heupel, if Coach Heupel asked me, I would say, you know, you, you really want to take a look at what Cam Newton did at the time, in his time at Auburn, what T Tim Tebow did at his time with the Gators, what Jalen Hurts does. Because on that fourth and one where we try to hand it off, um, you know, Philadelphia Eagles, Jalen Hurts, they're going for it on fourth and one. And we have the biggest, strongest quarterback on a QB sneak. We have the biggest, strongest quarterback in the SEC to be able to get that done. I think we're going to have to start using Joe's legs as a function on the, of the opposite, uh, offense, but on design QB runs. Quarterback power, zone read. You know, because it's a little bit different than Hendon Hooker. Hendon would just take it and run with it, whereas Joe, we, we, have, to, we have to get put him in those positions and then he has to show that he has an appetite to run the ball and commit himself to, 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 to sacrificing his body for the good of the team. Yeah. I, I look at it, and what, what they have to do is, is, you know, you've got this massive playbook with reads and options and different things. What they're going to have to do is maybe, okay, Joe, you've got this option or this option. Okay, offensive line, you block this guy, and don't let go. Don't, don't stop blocking. Receivers, you're going to run this route. That's it. You've got to simplify things because I think, like you talked about, well, your 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 strengths of what you have, you've got a lot of holes in the dike. You've got a lot of gaps that if you don't um, simplify things and make it just a lot simpler, I, I think you're going to have what we saw last night. So really quick, 30 seconds we got, but – do you believe this coaching staff can make those choices? Oh, make this? I, absolutely. I, I know they can. What, what they're going to – I think they've, they've kind of – you know, you've got a, a tenured quarterback that you thought could really do the things, and I think they're finally like, okay, he, he can't process everything quickly enough to be able to run the full offense. So we're just going to have to go this or this. That's it. One, a, choice A or choice B. No, nothing else. So back to you, John. I guess we – Got a lot of changes to make, and hopefully this coaching staff can figure it out sooner rather than later. Yeah, it's going to be interesting the rest of the way to watch this one play out. You look at the South Carolina game last year, it was kind of a one-off. I mean, there was one huge clunker. It could be this is your one huge clunker, but because it's the start of the season, we look at it as though, oh, it's going to be this way the rest of the way. And I'm one of those. I don't know about this offense with Joe Milton, with this receiving core, with this offensive line. But it is going to be interesting to see over these next few four or five weeks, are we sitting here come November saying, man, he didn't have any answers for this? Or did Josh Heupel surprise us and 
come up with some end arounds that he could run. Not literally, but you get the idea. When we come back, let's talk about will they or won't they? Tennessee versus UTSA. Interesting questions for the guys. We've never had five VFLs play our little game before. That's next. All ten people on the set. It's a madhouse. Come on back. <laughs> 